Hello, security professionals. What we are going to view now is the Endpoint Management Cloud Deployment Portal. After logging in, you reach the Checkpoint Endpoint Management as a Service page. What you actually see is a pretty simple page that contains essentially one button that will create a machine. It will actually create the management server for your account. All you need to do is fill in a very simple form that consists of several items. The host name is the server name. It is usually taken from the name of the account. Server location. We currently have two available locations. You could choose the location that is more aligned to the customer's main activity where the endpoint security clients would reside so that ultimately they would have minimal latency to the server. Purpose. You may choose between demo, proof of concept, or long-term deployment. Server size. This would match the size of the account should the server support up to 2,500 endpoint clients or more. Then you should fill in the smart endpoint password. This is the password that would be configured on the server to be the default password that is unique only to you. The server will be deployed with that predefined password. Later on, we will show how to use it at login. For this video, we have accelerated the deployment time. The actual time to generate a new server on the cloud at this point is about 25 minutes. In parallel, you can use the Download Smart Console button seen here. That will download the latest recommended version of the Smart Console to manage your server in the cloud. You'll also note that you may download the initial client that is tailor-made for that account server. It can connect only to this server and not to any other server. At the end of the server deployment, you will receive an email from Checkpoint notifying you that the Endpoint Management Server was successfully deployed and includes information about what to do in order to log in to Smart Endpoint. The username is admin. This is set as the default. The password is the password that you typed in before creating the server. Now, what we have here is a Smart Endpoint that is connected to the server so you may start defining your first software deployment policy rule. I'm choosing the version to install. It is already preloaded with the latest available client version, choosing the components I wish to install and deploy the policy. Since we selected the rule to be applied on the entire organization, every computer that the initial client will be deployed to will automatically install the selected technologies. Now, we are downloading the initial client. We can do it from here or from the portal that we use to create the server. We are now looking at the Windows machine of the end user. We will run the initial client installation here. The initial client is only about 16 megabytes, so this installation is pretty fast. The client is connecting automatically to the server without any actions required from the end user. It is all pre-configured in the installation. The client gets the software deployment policy as it was configured in Smart Endpoint. And in a minute, you would have your first endpoint security client protecting your endpoint. In about 40 minutes, you'll have a server smart console, and endpoint clients ready and fully operational. Since we are ready to roll, let's start an anti-malware scan on the endpoint. As you can see, several malwares were actually found. Going back to Smart Endpoint, you can view all the security issues or events that were found on the PC. And can view the detailed logs in Smart View. That's it. Checkpoint Endpoint Management as a Service has been successfully deployed. Thank you.